Hello everyone, it's Rad from Rad Kutsarot and within this uh, old video um, you're gonna hear the forecast for your star sign for the upcoming week which is a August 24th to a August 30th, a 2020. For those who are new to Tarot, uh, Tarot is all about knowledge. It's about the knowledge of the universe and how you interpret that knowledge. So if you do like the way I read the Tarot cards and you want to learn to read the same way, I am offering you a Tarot classes and uh, how to participate into them, you can find a link down below in the description of this video just so you know by purchasing a tarot class it also includes a, a certain amount of personal coaching with me as well when you do finish uh, the, the, the recorded class okay, and you do have the hang of it already you can address me with whatever questions you think I have not covered up there or simply you can use that time to uh, practice your reading skills, uh, reading skills with me uh, the other thing is, is that if you do want a personal reading, you can go to my website, which link you are going to find in the description down below as well. And there at the very front page, you're going to see full list of my services as well, their pricing. And as soon as you place a, a purchase, <clears throat> I'm going to come back to you within 24 hours via email to give you details how the reading is going to take place. So if you haven't received the email in your inbox, make sure you do check your spam or junk folder as well. So with that being said, just lay back and uh, enjoy the show. So this is going to be Aquarius Sun, uh, Moon and as well a, a rising weekly general tarot reading for the upcoming week and just uh, bear with me a second guys to shuffle the tarot cards and we can jump uh, right into it. So the first one that you do have, that is going to be the two of uh, wands, followed by the three of uh, cups. Now moving next, we do have the ace of cups. And uh, the last one, that is to be the uh, king of wands. Now, that, that's uh, quite of a, uh, a remarkable week ahead. That is if you are chasing something and you do have a goal in front of you. Now, that is very important. The two of wands only manifests when you do have a vision, when you do have a strive, when you do have a, a, a something to move forward to. Okay, So if you kind of like keep a monotone day by day routine, with this card having it there, it's likely that your routine is going to improve slightly, but it's if you don't have anything in mind to accomplish, then no further manifestation um, is to happen, okay? So it's very important that you do have a drive for the week itself. So what happens there is that the two of wands is an indicator for you, Aquarius, that uh, you are sitting on a solid ground, or rather like on a good achievements. But those achievements are not as nearly as good as you can make them to be, okay? So the week itself, it is like a um, realizing or finding out, kind of like researching what you can improve with yourself, with your skill, with your relationship, with your career, and etc., etc. That is because, um, well, how can I place it in words? Um, well, I, I will try to approach it from, th from this perspective. So we do have the Three of Cups into the second position of the sprite, and that kind of speaks that those that surround you, people that surround you in general, they're quite happy for you. I mean, there is no doubt in it. And they pretty much think that you have reached the verge or the prime of, uh, of your situations. You do reach the prime of your relationship or the prime of your career. And God, they could not have it more wrong than that. And uh, should you be someone who is pretty much swayed by the opinion of those that surround you, they may kind of like believe, uh, make you believe that you should settle for what you have while the energies of the week points that you should not, okay? You should find a way to improve on it. You should find a way to grow even further, but not just only in your job and in your, in your relationship, but in a sense of growing in career and in love life, which is kind of different. So uh, the whole point of, of this week it is to identify how. And make no mistake, if you do have the drive, if you do have the agenda, if you do have the goal, 
you will find out. It's going to be individual for every single one of you, the way how you are to grow. Uh, that's why the tarot cards does not describe it. But as soon as you find it, that will uh, overflow your, your, your heart with joy uh, and pretty much is going to transcend your uh, daily, daily, daily reality, I'm sorry, into a very exhilarating one. And uh, we'll make whatever concerns you do had with the past or with the current situations you do have that may deteriorate under certain circumstances completely irrelevant because they will play no longer a role with your a future development. Okay. That could be uh, just for an example, that could be the way how you are to propel yourself into your career. That could be the way how you are to experience true love or where to find true love or where to find lucrative career, etc, etc. It's just the way how you are to grow. And it is all about that the week is going to uh, help you do. OK, it's going to request and help you do. But again, if you do have a monotone daily routine that you do not expect nor you do aim for anything, then that energy is not going to manifest really. And uh, so the end of the week may happen in a couple of ways, depending on what kind of a situation you are in. Now, the first way that uh, which is most common in those kind of cases, in this kind of a alignment of the uh, narrative, it is that uh, the more you think about it, the more your ambition will grow. Now, the more your ambition grows, the more your positive outlook grows and the more your positive outlook grows for the future, the more determined you become. And the more determined you become, the closer the time where you are to effectively act in order to manifest your growth comes about, which should be relatively soon, in a couple of weeks, in a month, or maybe in a couple of months. The other option that may manifest is that if the king of wands, it's actually a person that comes about. And that will happen if you do know how you are going to grow, it is just you don't have the means. To grow so for example you do have an, an awesome idea for a business but you don't have the funds to um, uh, to pretty much manifest that business and then that person manifests you know coming maybe out of nowhere it could be someone from your social circle regardless that sees a huge potential in your ambition because it's all about your ambition and as they see a huge potential in your ambition they will actually make the effective approach on your behalf and again it's going to be on your behalf there is no nefarious nor a surreptitious intentions behind the actions of the king of wands because the king of wands is driven by ambition and by challenges okay and what they see in you and your idea of growth and moving forward in life is a challenging for them to conquer is something interest they do not concern them, concern themselves with margins they do not concern the, concern themselves with profits at that particular point they're willing to explore they're willing to help you explore your uh, your goal and uh, agenda so that could be a sign as well that's a uh, a very valuable ally and a helping hand may come uh, at your disposal to help you make your dreams come uh, make your dreams come true but regardless what it is if you have lost your uh, drive and sense for life I suggest you to regain it quickly because you will have no better opportunity in the upcoming near future to manifest that drive a moving forward. So that being said, uh, Aquarius, this was your a uh, weekly tarot reading, guys, for uh, the upcoming week, general weekly tarot reading. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it and uh, we may see each other around. Until then, bye.